They're so lovely. They give you a little ouzo with your dish. Hey guys, I'm Ross and Beck is behind the camera. Today we're in Athens, Greece and we're going to take you around the streets here and show you our favourite Greek eats. We absolutely adore the place, the people are so nice and the food is delicious. For those that are new here, we travel full time, we like to share food and travel tips with everyone. So if you're into that sort of stuff, hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss our future videos. I'm starving, so let's get going. So everywhere in Athens, they have these local bakeries that are just amazing. They have some really classic traditional pies. Spanakopita is one that you maybe have heard of before. That's my favorite. The other one is a tirapita. So this one is spinach and feta. And the tirapita is Beck's favorite. That is just feta. They both have this phyllo pastry and they're just delicious. Mm. We're talking under two euros for anything that you want. Mm. This is Bex. I won't eat any. No way. I just have one little bite. Truly delicious. Saka, the national dish. This thing is a beauty. I love it. It's somewhere between lasagna and some sort of eggplant dish. Now you've got the layer of eggplant. There's a hint of cinnamon in here with a bechamel sauce up high and some potatoes down low. And the layering is perfect in this place. We love this spot. The beef is really rich. Now the other thing, is there's this little crispy bit on top. So I'm looking forward to just tucking into this. All right, check out that layering. It's just visually for me really exciting. And a generous amount of bechamel in here. Mm. The, oh, the eggplant just kind of melts um, in with that beef sauce. And the bechamel is really uh, creamy as well. Mm. A tasty treat. Not an everyday food, but hey, a couple of times a week. All right, I'm going in for more. Yum. Oh, look at that. This is mainly bechamel, this bit. Hmm. Now, most of the time, we feed ourselves with a little Greek salad to sort of balance out the heavy carbs that you can sometimes get with a delicious salad. Now, I just love the big slab of feta on these things and the sprinkling of oregano on the top. And the rest is, you know, cucumber, tomato, some onion and capsicum. It's just a good little mix. Now, they also just drizzle a generous amount of olive oil over the top and we have this with most meals and love it. Mm. We found that the feta everywhere in Greece is really creamy. I love it. It's uh, not as harsh and as salty as you would think. We've often just sat here and eaten bowls of Greek salad without ordering anything else. You can find seafood everywhere in Athens, but we've fallen in love with this place because you can get them in the cones. We've got 
sardines, prawns, and squid. And it's only a few euros per cone. Sardines. I actually never really liked the tin version at home. I love fresh sardines now. Oh. Mm. You get the little tail still on there. You kind of get everything. Quite salty, fresh, a little bit of batter on the outside, a very light batter. And yeah, you can still see all parts of the sardine. Try them, try them. Oh, amazing. Fresh prawns, now these are crumbed, but you can get them any which way you want. You know, you can have prawns, sardines, or squid, octopus, all sorts of things. Chili sauce on that one. Mm. All right, and some of the freshest squid that you could imagine. Again, a very light batter with some fresh lemon on there. It's just so citrusy and salty and it's just delicious. You'd normally eat seafood in a restaurant sitting down and stuff, but hey, I love that you can just get these on the go and there's lots of people walking around with these cones. So come here and check this out. So we thought this dish was called meze, but this lovely lady here said to us, it's picalia. All we know is it's delicious, these share plates where you just pick what you want. Now we said just put a bit of everything on here. There's seafood, pickles, salad, some yummy dips and bread. It's so amazing to try, so just get stuck in and eat some of this if you're in Athens. So some of this dip on the bread. Oh, a spicy, cheesy dip. There's a terima salada. Fish. There's a mackerel and sardines on here as well. Some squid. Oh. Loving fresh seafood. They're so lovely, they give you a little ouzo with your dish. This place is packed with locals sitting around doing exactly what we're doing, so immerse yourself. No tourists here, guys. A traditional pork yeros. I think I said this right, but guys, this is one of the reasons I'm gonna cry when we leave Greece. It's delicious, perfect takeaway food, pork that's been slow cooked on a rotisserie, just slow cooked, really nice seasoning, delicious. This guy behind the counter has clearly made a few of these. He's put tzatziki, the pork, tomato, some chips, and their own little sort of salad bit in there, and it just marries together deliciously. This is one of my favorite things I've eaten. The pita is so soft, really, really soft. Mm. I've had about 20 of these since I've been in Greece and I love every single one of them. Sivlak 
Kentucky is meat on a stick and it's packed with flavor guys. You squeeze on this lemon and you dig in. Now pork I've been told is the traditional souvlaki so I've gone with that and guys normally you would have some pita with this and you would wrap it up in the pita and have it with tzatziki and all those but I just can't bring myself to eat that today so souvlaki by itself is what I'm all about let's taste it oh. It's so chunky, meaty, um, really good seasoning on there and the lemon just adds this acidity to it. We love souvlaki, pork souvlaki in particular, meat on the go. What is there not to love about this? As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Squid, 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 squid. Yummy.